Welcome to 6-5 Parallel and Perpendicular Lines. I'm going to start with the symbol for parallel is this, the symbol for perpendicular is this. So when I use it throughout. Okay, so first it says find the slope of each line, find the slope of A, uh, rise 1, run 2, 1 half, find the slope of B, rise 1, run 2, 1 half, slope of C, um, it's a negative slope, down 2, right 1, or sorry, down 2, right, I uh, didn't do C, that's D, sorry, C is not that, wrong line, looked at the wrong line, so be careful. So C is a positive slope, which is up 2 over 1. And D is this line right here, so that's down to right 1. This is 2, and this is negative 2. So compare the lines. Notice that these are the same. And when you have the same slope, same slope, then lines are parallel. Same slope, different y-intercept, lines are parallel. Okay. If you look at this and you are looking at A, this one, and this one, okay, if I take same slope, so I have 1 half equals 1 half, they're parallel. If I take 1 half times negative 2 and I get negative 1, then the lines are perpendicular. Another way to say it is if I take 1 half and I do the uh, opposite reciprocal, which means I turn the fraction upside down and change its sign, then they are perpendicular. So this says A is perpendicular to D and B is perpendicular to D. So parallel lines are same slope, different y-intercept. Perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals or turn them over changes sign. So given the slope, a slope that is parallel, so I'm going to write it like that. So a slope parallel, it's going to be the same. So I'm going to go two thirds. Slope is perpendicular. I'm going to, it's called a opposite reciprocal. Flip over, change sign. And if I multiply uh, the slope and the perpendicular slope, the value is negative 1. So I'm going to flip him over, change his sign. I'm going to write negative 4 over 1 as a fraction. The parallel, it's the same. Perpendicular, flip him over. And instead of a negative 4, it is now a positive 4. If you multiply the slope and the perpendicular slope, it has to equal negative 1. If I have negative 1 fourth, a parallel slope is negative 1 fourth because it's the same. Um, to get a perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal, and you simplify your fraction. Parallel slope is the same. This written as a fraction is 2 over 1. Perpendicular slope, flip it over, change its sign. Slope and perpendicular slopes have opposite signs. Lines that are parallel have slopes that are the same. Lines that are perpendicular have slopes that are opposite reciprocals.
here you are going to um, be asked if uh, lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So understand that we have three things that can happen. They can be parallel, they can be perpendicular, actually four things. They can be the same line, there's one line there and one line on top of it, and it's disguised. Or they can um, be neither parallel nor perpendicular. It all depends on the slope. So in y, uh, slope intercept form, you're going to identify your slopes. If I were doing this, I would take my slopes and multiply them together. And when I multiply them, they're not the same, so they're not parallel. If I multiply them together and it's negative 1, then they're perpendicular. Here, my slope is 3 and negative 3. They are not the same. I multiply the slopes together, I get negative 9. So that's not negative 1 and that's neither. x over 7 is the same as 1 over 7 times x, so it's the same thing. So my slope is 1 7th and 1 7th, so they are parallel. Write an equation in slope-intercept form, so we got to pay attention to form, of a line that passes through a given point and is parallel to the graph of the given equation. Okay, so first of all, I need to find out what this slope is. So then I change it to slope-intercept form, and I will subtract 5x and subtract 5x. I have negative 2y equals 8 minus 5x. Divide everybody by negative 2. I get y equals negative 4 plus 5 halves x. My slope is 5 over 2. That is the slope that I'm going to use for the parallel. And this is my point. So I'm now going to use point slope. And I'm going to do y minus 9 equals 5 over 2 times x minus 2. y minus 9 equals 5 halves x minus 5. Add 9 to both sides. y equals 5 over 2x plus 4. Notice that these have same slope, different y-intercept. So if I sketch this out, one, this one would be starting at negative 4 and go up 5 and over 2. This one would be starting at positive 4 and going up 5 and over 2, and they would be parallel. So slopes are the same. Same slope, different y-intercept. Write an equation in slope-intercept form for a line that passes through the given point and is perpendicular. I'm going to identify my slope. My slope is 2 over 9. My perpendicular slope is, flip it over, change its sign. Then I need to use point slope. And I want to end up in slope-intercept form. 
So I'm going to do y minus a negative 13 equals negative 9 over 2 times x minus 6. I'm going to do y plus 13 equals negative 9 halves x plus Twenty-seven. I'm going to subtract thirteen. Y equals negative nine halves x plus fourteen. This is a line. This is the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. To this equation right there.